Tell us who you are and what you've been working on this semester. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm an electrical engineering student, and I've been working on this uh, Shark development board, doing some basic C and C++ programming for it. Okay, so play us your chorus effect. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> So tell us about the experience of working with the shark. And as part of this, why don't you pull up your code? This is the basic course program, just to show some of the constants I had. There's just an array just for the delay line, indexes, and then these are the variable time. It's a course, it's modulating where it's drawing from. This is the setup function and it just clears out the delay line, sets everything to zero. And then once we get down here, generating the pointers for the mod for modulation and then interpolating the points in the de delay line to make the chorus yeah and then sampling those and spitting it out somewhere along here i generate a sign i believe that's up yeah that's up here oh it's a triangle yeah okay so i noticed that you have some code called i hate this stupid software oh yes of course so would it be fair to say that this has not been a smooth experience getting this board working Fair to say, yeah, you could definitely say that. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about the problems you've run into because maybe there's somebody watching this who's familiar with analog devices, shark development that can help us out with working through these problems. Yeah, the folks at home that might have some useful information, yeah, that would be great. These are the things off the top of my head that I've been having issues with. Number one, include statements are sketchy to say the least. For the folks at home who don't know, the Shark Development Board, this is the Shark Audio Bare Metal OS. You have then ARM Cortex M4 that just does this, the brains of the operation, and then you have your two uh, Shark cores that do the audio DSP processing. So all the drivers are handled in the ARM section. Sometimes there, there are some issues with the drivers. Uh, so you can see here, actually it's over here. I already have it open. I'm just that good. So you can see I've completed out a giant chunk of code. So what that is, is that you have these include files that are essentially, these are just filling in what's going in this array here. They just, the developers at analog devices didn't want to just type out all that because it's stuff like this. Okay. It's just a collection. bunch of numbers. Yeah, a bunch of numbers. It's tedious. And then and if you want to update it later. Some sort of info for particular bits of hardware on this board. Exactly. Yeah. For the record, I know that these files exist. You can hit open declaration and it goes to the file. Now, that does not seem to stop the linker, however, because when I tried to compile this section, it would say that the file didn't exist. I would right click, I'd open declaration, it exists. Like I could just to prove my point. I can go here, right click, open declaration. It's real, there is proof. I can see with my very eyes that this is real. But if I were to compile, actually let's, let's just build right now. Yeah. Okay, it complains it, about not finding it. They will complain about not finding that file that exists. It and is And I noticed the other includes in this file are working. The other includes in this file are working, yes. Were you able to comment that out just because you're not using that particular piece of hardware? Exactly, yes. Yeah. So that is, uh, let me actually do correct C code. Uh, so that section there is for the enhanced mode on the codec. So right, the analog to digital and digital analog converter has its own DSP built in separate from the shark. Exactly. But yeah. you're not using that here, so I wasn't using it. You so can comment I that out. Yeah, so I just didn't I just didn't use that section and then I ignored it. However, later in the semester I tried to make a new project. That's where we hit I hate this stupid software because I just kept making new projects hoping that it would actually read the drivers. But when I made new projects, what happened is instead of this one line not working in this one file, what ended up happening is all the lines in all of these files would not work. The includes just simply would not be found. Personally, my workaround for this was instead of just using the include statement, I would just go to the declaration and copy in the file. And that was... Oh, so you'd manually do the include yeah, by I'd just cutting and pasting. Exactly. I'd manually okay, you would copy it. and paste. Yeah, which tedious to say the least. If someone has a workaround for these include statements that could make it so I can guarantee that they work. Because also later, I tried to do the same thing with uh, some of the audio functions. For example, mm -hmm. I think it was the compressor function. 
I tried to use the compressor function and uh, just include that and just uh, just compress my signal. That didn't work. It could not find the compressor, couldn't find the compressor hmm. file. And I even copied that in. That one actually, I'm, I'm remembering now. That one, it wasn't the whole file. It couldn't find the struct. Okay. It just, just, one, just one struct, struct it couldn't struct find. It couldn't find. And so, I, so then I copied that in and then it was issues with declaring in multiple places, which means it knows it exists somewhere else. Oh. And then I copied it in and it, I I can't I can't explain these things. If someone has a fix for the includes, please, I beg of you. Anyway. <laughs> okay. This has been the biggest frustration the whole semester's been dealing with that. So let's do the simulator real quick. So at the beginning of the semester, I didn't have access to the board and I was yeah. uh, Or for context for the people watching, I have two boards, but three interested students, so I had to swap the boards between them. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning I got the short straw and I wasn't the one who had the board. So I tried to debug with the built-in simulator. And you can get things, like I've got like basic print statements and things to work like that. But this is more of a curiosity thing. Is it possible to use this simulator with audio, have it in like import an audio file and get that to work? Because from what I have gathered mm -hmm. is that the way that the bare metal audio OS works is that once the DMA fills up with too many samples in the buffer, then it calls the audio callback. So unless I can find a way to fill that buffer, it won't trigger any of the audio functions, so I can't use it. If there's any way to do that unrelated to the actual physical board, then you can use a simulator, which would be great for people in the VIP that don't have access to the board. Because what I had to do is I had to call my group members, be like, hey, I want to run my program today. Y'all, are y'all free? Can you come, can you come right. run the board? So that'd be great for productivity. If anyone has an answer to that, that'd be terrific. Okay. Let's talk about this one, uploading to the board. So okay. I've had different experiences with this. This is just building. Now we've commented it out. It should work. Yeah, see, no problems. When I first got my hands on the board, I would build, I would hit the run button right up here, the resume button, and it would work. Okay. Then I would build and I'd hit the resume button and nothing would happen. I'd hit the stop button to try and debug it and it'd start working. Okay, so you had to press stop for it to start? Exactly. Okay. It makes sense, yeah. So as of quite literally today at about 5.30, okay. I tried, <laughs> two hours ago, I ran this and now we're in, a new, we're in a new location where it now runs when I close it. When so I close Cross Core Embedded Studio, when that closes, it will... Okay, so now Fast you're the uploading the code? Yeah, so in debug, you running to the ICE 1000 over here. Okay, now you wait for it to turn purple? Yeah, so once it turns once it turns purple, it's going that's Ready to go? loading to the board. This is just, right now it's just building again, because why not? Okay. So just let it do that, and any second now, there it goes, yeah. It turns purple? Turns purple, we're building. Yeah, as you can see here, we're just loading these things onto the shark. 92%. Oh, does the blinky purple mean it's still loading? Yeah. So okay. now, so that 92%, is, that 92% gone, we're at 100%. It's loaded. It's on here. Okay. The run button is not there. Run button is not working. Used to be able to press run, but not yeah. now. At this point, it would have properly switched to the debug mode, and then I, well, well, which it has. Shout okay. out to that. And I would have been able to hit the resume button. Okay. So now, nothing. For example, I've tested this. There'd be no, there's no sound right now. So, uh, if until I, you quit the program, until I close cross core embedded studio. Now it will run. And now I can get. Okay. And I can get audio. <laughs> okay. I haven't the slightest clue why that is. If anyone has any explanations on and that. And that just started today. That this is a today bug. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you would say your experience with shark programming and cross core has not been smooth. Not been smooth to say the least. It's been interesting, and I've really, I've really enjoyed getting to work with audio. Like that's that's what I live for. But yeah, yeah. this is it's been causing me some headaches every once okay. in a while. And just for reference for people watching this, the main reason I was interested in this is is what Strymon uses mm -hmm. in their pedals. They use Shark, and the Strymon stuff is awesome. No so kidding. yeah yeah it's what's in my hx stomp that i used to record the sounds that we're listening to okay so yeah 
the one last thing off the top of my head is this doesn't matter uh, to me as much because I don't care right. about Mac people, but they've been complaining. So we had a group member who tried to build it on his Mac and we couldn't. We just now couldn't to be clear, get it that's the... an Intel Mac. Like yes, I wasn't, I wasn't able to even get it to install the software to install on my ARM Mac, yeah. but they were able to get it to install on their Intel Mac. And, mm -hmm. but what was the problem they were having? Yeah. So, and just to be specific about that, that was an Intel Mac. They had also had Windows OS for uh, like a dual boot where they booted it on Windows and were loading it through Windows. And so then, they were running Windows native on the Mac. Like it yes. wasn't in Parallels or mm -hmm. some other virtual machine. Okay. No virtual machine. It was running just bare metal Windows. Windows. Okay. Yeah. We actually got to the exact same point where I had the bug today. And we didn't think to close close it. It was just the first time we ran into it. So we got to the point, program turns purple. Okay. It stops flashing, loading, everything's done. And we're like, where's the start button? We need the start button. We actually don't know now. Well, now that I know I can close it and it starts running, then I maybe that will get, work on that Mac. Maybe that will work. We can find that out. But you shouldn't have to close the studio to get it to work. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Also, yeah. Also, things for future research is we did find that there's this there's one like article on the internet of one guy who managed to. I want to say he got uh, he had he used two virtual machines. You could you could use the Windows to get the license for cross core embedded studio to work, and then you could copy that to a Linux virtual machine and then run the Linux version on a Mac. And he got that to work. And we said, <laughs> that is the so stupidly complicated for, at this point, it was a few weeks ago. We're like, there's, it's like Thanksgiving at the end of the semester, just to just, just bash on this when there's no, there's no time left to actually really get this working. Right. So, so. We're like, that's a, that's a later problem. We'll just make one more, we'll just make okay. one more programs. So Maybe that's, if, that's a future student at. problem. <laughs> a future okay. student to run every virtual machine there is. Okay, that's excellent. Give me some more clips. All right, good deal. Okay, give me another clip. Thank you very much. All right. So maybe some folks watching this will have some ideas that future students can use while trying to tame the shark board. 